Are we recording? Why don't you fucking... All right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're hitting towers, baby. Two of them. Wow. All right. Maybe even three. Maybe even a shaped object building. Maybe... You're talking about a dodecahedron. Yeah. A polyamorous gun. <laughs> That's something. How many sides is that? As many Enough. as you want, man. As many Too many. As, or them... As many as you want them to be. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot you're going by different pronouns these days, aren't you? Nope. Um, <clears throat> Welcome back to All of Air. <laughs> <laughs> is this 50? This we're, is 50. We're 50 years old now. Um, Catching up to Jake. I, yeah. Oh, I off. I feel uh, my bones breaking as we speak. It Sorry, hurts. I'll let go. Yeah. Send help. What? <laughs> my bones are being crushed um, due to the... Age of our show, it's the amount of episodes of our so- show. Um, so Jake, now you say something. Hello, and then style. Ah, uh- as per usual. Um, the we're not going to talk about much today. We're just right, going to <laughs> yeah. We're just going to kind of hang out, you know, shoot the shit. Um, so yeah. <laughs> when was the last time we recorded? While ago, yeah, yeah, the batch recordings are, are are are. It wasn't with the pidge, was it? Oh, it might have been. No, because no. we talked about energy drinks last time. Yeah, we did the Zoa. We did the Zoa version. Yeah, oh, you guys, right, you guys remember right. that? Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> we're doing that again. Yep, <laughs> we're gonna Jake, we're gonna build another tier ta- uh, tier list. We're um, gonna drink more energy drinks. Yeah, Jake brought in um, three rippets. They're all green. <laughs> Uh, Whippets, and he also brought in Whippet Good Five W Thirty Motor Oil. Mm. I don't think you can drink that. I don't drink as many energy drinks as I used to drink, and I think that that's good. I still drink them, but not as many. I drink more. I drink more. I was gonna say yeah. I don't drink enough, but I drink more. Yeah, I drink. It's um, gotten progressively more. So you would say it's weird because it depends on the day. So like, this is my second yeah. one today. This is three for me, but. I drink a lot more green. So, like, the main three things I drink, it's green tea, it's water, and then Red Bull. Like, I don't drink anything else but that. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's fair. How many, so how many Red Bulls would you say you have on an average week? On a week? Yeah. 20? 20 of the 12 ounce? Okay. Yeah. I could say... Maybe yeah, fifteen to twenty. I would say so I would, seventeen. I'd say max ten for me, max, and that's, that's saying pretty good. a week. That's giving that's giving me two every day for my work days and right. for the show. And normally I don't even. I mean, most days I don't even drink two. I'll just drink one. So I'm giving myself a lot of buffer room. What was your so number? Ten. Ten. So it could be less. I'd say. Anywhere between ten and fourteen. So, um, because that gives me two a day. For welcome to off air, um, <laughs> mid conversation, but that's all right. So, uh, Chris Farley Shrek is a thing that uh, style just put on the. You like the it? Screen. I like it. I just want to let it's episode fifty. You get <clears throat> mad anytime I play Flanders. No, I like pants. this. I like this the best. This has been my favorite thing you've put on the screen so far. So Wait, I'm sorry. Is go it back him to actually like talking and doing the mo- the motion? No, it's yeah. just it's just a video test. Oh, okay. Wow. There's a lot of stuff that has been unearthed from that. that sp- since and I don't know if like does he know about everything that's come out about the Chris Farley shit? And I know it's a fucking no. Meme, I but... I do because I follow it on YouTube. Uh, Okay. And I'll see something and I'll go, well, I wonder if there's anything new from the last time we talked about it. Yeah. And I'll watch it. And usually it's all pretty much the same stuff that we right. talked about. Uh, but yeah, there'll be like little tidbits here and there. I watched a video that was updated this year mm-hmm. about lost and found media yeah. that's new or, or been unearthed. Mm-hmm. And like, that's wild that like so much more is still coming. Like there's a, there's one I'd never heard of. And it's apparently a really big lost media thing. Mm-hmm. It's Batman versus Dracula. Oh, and it's a it's an unlicensed film from the Philippines in the sixties. Oh, okay, 
And is it like a live action movie? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's and cool. there's there's screen grabs of it, but that's all that exists. Uh-huh. None of the actors have ever been able to be contacted or the director. There's no video film of it. Um, and like because it's not licensed, like right. all the costumes are super weird. Right. Like Batman, his emblem is replaced with like a guy punching someone. Uh, Robin is also in a cowl. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dracula's there. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Batman versus Dracula. Yeah, yeah. Lost Media is cool. I saw stuff. they found another picture from uh, the Gettysburg Address. That's wild. There were pictures? Yeah. So now there's two known pictures from the Gettysburg Address. That's so wild. I My brain doesn't work. Like, I can't put a camera and the Gettysburg Address yeah, together. No. So here's, yeah. here's, my, here's a question that you might be able to give me a little bit more insight on, Jake. Does, like, does the U.S. government... Uh, acknowledge lost media like something like that will they document it as like found former lost like there's they'll probably make it I wordier think, and sound more smart, yeah i but think like, in the library of congress there's a lot of stuff like that that's like was previously lost but yeah now is so, preserved or something like that like when i would get bored at the station i because you could just go to the library of congress website and right. just look at stuff right and they have like the most random stuff on there hmm so I'm sure like, yeah, they more than likely they do. I mean, yeah, there's I think they call it like declassified and classified at right. that point. I think if it's missing, it's considered classified. Uh, and then once they find it, it becomes declassified. Right. OK, that makes sense. Yeah, if I had to guess. Because lost media is like something so silly and, and like it sounds so whimsical and like, right. you know, high, uh, I don't know, like just not something that you would take super seriously. But then there's something like. The second picture of the Gettysburg Address found technically probably was considered like you could classify that as lost media. Right. right. Yeah. And then there's another picture that was discovered in 1972 of the Gettysburg Address and it has a little kid in it. Hmm. And it claims that the little kid is a time traveler. Ah. Uh, ah. Hold on. Go up. Go up. Right. Th- stop. That picture in the middle. Yep. So that kid who's like right in the middle. I've heard like interviews of him. Yeah, so that kid who's like right in the middle of frame, that's yeah. why he's wearing their, you know, they'll do the he's wearing the updated clothing. Yeah. But yeah, supposedly he went back in time. It was this building in New Jersey. It was I've like heard down about two basement. of them in New York once. <laughs> so it Ooh. was down in the basement and his dad signed him up for this thing. Mm-hmm. And so then he went back in time. And he was supposedly that's him. Hang on, wait. Where does that story come from? Who's corroborating that? The the kid supposedly that kid like he was interviewed. So there's on... a guy yes. that says he is this kid from the 100%. Gettysburg Address. Yes, that's wild. Um, I don't know if I've posed this question to you guys yet. It's a good one though. How would you um, how would you prove to yourself like in on both sides of this? How would you prove to yourself that you are you from the past or from the future? Ooh. Or how w- would you know definitively that it is y- you? Like if someone runs up, because this was the question that I posed. Someone runs up to you and says, I'm you from the future. Or I'm you from the, how, what do you know? Because like in today's day and age, I'm skeptical. I just don't know if some random person who maybe does kind of look like an older version of me runs up to me and says, I'm you from the future. I don't think they could tell me like a couple of details about my life and have me be convinced. Right. I need What's my email password? I need more than that. Right. That's what but, I would ask them. But then how do you know like email is, I don't know, it's so tough. Like, are, do you think that genuinely you would remember this email password that you have right now? Yeah. 30 years from now? I do, because it's a variation of the same thing. Okay. And I go between two. So we're all unequally safe online. Correct. Okay. Well, like, I, so the funniest thing is, there was one that I had in high school I was given by my high school, mm-hmm. and yeah. it started off as five letters, Yeah. and now it's like 23. Mm. Oh, so you just keep adding yeah, on. Yeah, so, and it's just stuff that, like, right off the top of my head, so it's like, okay, this, uh, yep, I'll add this, and then add this, so it's like, it's not this, but it would be like if you had like car and then you were like, all right, car, I know my birthday, so I'm going to put my birthday and then the address from when I was a kid. That's insane to me. I but, mean, it makes sense, but, it's all but like stuff my brain you know. just doesn't work like that. Right, but it's yeah. all stuff that you know you're going to know off the top of your head. 
I can't come That's to fair. an answer about the, the time traveler thing. I don't know. Because I, I remember, so I, I'm glad I didn't ask. I, I thought I might have at least talked to you, Jordan, about this, but I, I, I posed it to, I think, my coworkers. Or of if you like, like how would you, how would you, but like, I don't have, like, sure, maybe birthmarks or something like that. That yeah. might we'll see, okay. do it for me. But even then, I I don't know. I need something where, like, I feel like it would have to click in my brain and be like, okay, no, you are definitely, like, I'm either black or white on this. There's no gray area. If they're black, probably not me from the future. <laughs> I'm going to roll that one out right. It could, but, could have happened. Could have pulled the reverse MJ. <laughs> I'm not seeing it. Um, but it would have to be, hang on, on, it would have to be something super, like, a personal story that like, okay, I know this is exactly how I remember the super niche thing that happened to me. Right. But also, once I disclose that to anyone, that's out the window. Right? What do you mean yeah. once you disclose that to anyone else? Like if there's like a recurring dream that he's always had. And I've been and telling he, people about yeah, it. Yeah, and if he told uh, anyone about it, then right, he can't right, use that. Right, right, right. Yeah, but fair. at the same time, don't you think future you would think of this? And then come back and go, hey. Hey, remember that I, one time on Off Air? I know you're thinking <laughs> this is crazy, but I have proof. Off well, Air episode 50 is what I'd reference. Yeah, and now right. that's like... Uh, the big five zero. Yeah. How... Yeah, because I guess it's probably the answer is the same for both of them, probably, of how would you prove to your younger self or how would you believe your older self, right? Or is it two separate answers of like it could be this or it could be this or I feel like I'd feel... have a hard time proving to my younger self than I would figuring out my older self. Well, do you guys remember? Ooh, maybe I'm trying to. It was like 2010. The guy said he was fixing his sink and he went into a wormhole. What? And Jake, he, where are you reading these and stories? He went to the future, and he actually like pulled out his phone and he was like, "Look, it's me from 20 years from now. Look at our tattoo." Look at our like this scar here. Maybe I can I can safely say I've never seen this, but that's yeah, wild. Yeah, no, yeah. it like it was a real thing. I yeah, don't know yeah, if yeah. it's been debunked or not because it I haven't right, thought about right. it in fifteen years. Right, but like the camera's kind of grainy. But it was like two thousand nine ish, so cell phone cameras weren't great. But I just remember like the sun glare, and they're like, "Yeah, look, here's our tattoo, and it's like a cross or something." And the one tattoo looks newer. Mm -hmm. And the other one looks a little weathered that like you could tell, but right. it's the same thing. And you're like, I wonder if that's real or if that's just BS. Hmm. All right. I'm, I, I figured out my question or my, my statement that I would pose sure. if I was older self trying to convince younger self it's me. Sure. Right. And I mean, this all goes out the window now cause I'm divulging it on radio. Um, but I'll take that bet. Right. <laughs> um, I would say there was a game on your flip phone your singular wireless chocolate flip phone that you used to play, and it's called Snowball Fight, mm -hmm. because not a goddamn person I've ever met has ever played this mobile flip phone game called Snowball Fight. Mm. Okay. That makes sense. I see. I don't... I genuinely don't know what I would do. I think I would have to, like, hang out with this person for, like, we'd have to hang out with each other for, like, more than a day, and then I'd be like, okay, you're you're probably me. Because I'm skeptical. I don't know. Like You'd have to see his dick. Yeah, I guess. I don't <laughs> know if I'd There's want... no other way. Right. I guess at some point, I'd probably have to along the along the adventure. Either know? it's not gay because it's yourself, or you're going to see some guy's dick. Right. What? <laughs> that's a risk I'm willing to take. That's true. Yeah. If it's future me, that's crazy. And if it's not... That's crazy. That's, that's <laughs> real crazy. Yeah, that's this guy really is just showing you his dick. Yeah. That's also... Maybe that's the strategy. If he's bluffing, like if you're, if this guy's not me, he's not gonna show me his dick. Ah, I'd ah, show me my dick. Right, I would show me my own. That's dick. That's true. Yeah, you're just whipping it out. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I would whip it out with him. Let's compare. <laughs> Look. <laughs> like there it is. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that checks out. <laughs> it's like a liposuction or something. It's like a lipo liposuction. <laughs> I don't know. You know what liposuction is. Mm, it's where they get. It's got to do with your the dick. Fat. They suck yeah. the fat out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one looks wrinkly, one doesn't. Before and after. Oh, I wasn't picturing me being like 80, but that's all right. <laughs> yeah, I, that's the thing. You're like old. Oh, I you're, didn't know. I was not that like old. not like an old man. Like you're still fully functioning as a human, but like you're you look weathered and older. <laughs> well, 
I think the you real solution to that weather. is uh, <laughs> yeah. I've only got two more good years left in me. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for later on, I just sent you a video about that video I was talking about. Mm-hmm. I put it in the. You uh, sent it? Yeah, I put it in the group chat. Mm. Two Asian MILF. Jake, I don't think this is the video. Damn it, wrong ooh, one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Send me that one again. Yeah, no. So, yeah, I just remember. I can't. It's going to be hard to find the original video. But, yeah, it's it's weird, dude, because when you see, like, the picture of them next to each other, you're going, okay, I kind of see it. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Maybe. I think time travel is a uh, is a tough, like, it's a tricky question because it's super uh, uh, baseline, like, whoa, this is a deep question. Oh, yeah, okay, you have to think deep. What do you th- what's your opinion on time travel? But, like, it's... It's either very true and it's going on and we don't yeah. know or I always go it's to the completely fact completely bunk. Yeah. If it is going to exist then it already exists because right. it is time travel. Right. Therefore we're not non subject to time. Right. So but the issue with that is is it one timeline or the moment you go back and you change something separate timeline? Does it then uh, splinter off? Like you're creating a new timeline by I inventing mean, time travel. Right. That helps the Mandela effect. It, I'm just it does, but at the same time, wouldn't it have always been there? there sure. There's always been branching right. timelines. It's not it's, well, so basically it's the MCU. But right. well no, so if I go back in time and let's say I bury a coffee can in your backyard yeah. in nineteen seventy two. Was that you? That coffee can will always be there. Okay. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So does it really branch off into a different timeline? Because you're just going back and changing something in the present timeline. I think I think that would create a, like an alternate path. Because do you come yeah. back then? If you alter. Because what happens to your timeline then? Like what happens to the reality that you came from where that can wasn't there? Is it just everybody autumn? And, and now we're only talking about a can. Right. But like. Does everybody else automatically shift with what you did in that same one timeline if it's one linear timeline? Or do you then, you can't go back to that timeline, but you go forward back to the timeline you have now created with that candidate? I think that. I think the latter. That's what I think. Yeah, I think the latter. Where, like, you are creating, you're essentially creating a new timeline. Yeah. I think it would just stay on the same timeline. Well, let me ask you guys this it's like going on vacation. I hate when I go on vacation, I come back, my house is just different. But but no, you know what I mean, <laughs> yeah. though? Like, you're just going, instead of a different place, you're just going to a different time. So, mm, okay, okay. Uh, with that thought, let me ask you this, because I think I have my answer. Time travel exists currently, right? You can You can go wherever you want, but you cannot actually affect or alter anything. You can't talk to people, like, you can't have a conversation that'll change the future, you can't do anything that'll change the future, you are kind of just existing in that space yeah, right. by yourself. What do you do? Because I think my answer, I'm going on old YouTube. <laughs> I'm going on old YouTube. Dude, I want to see YouTube in 07 again. I want to okay. see the old internet again. And I can't. That's not a thing. That, like I can boot up the Wayback Machine and look at pictures, but I will never get to experience old internet the way it was again right i want that i want to do it one more time hmm. I'd, I'd go watch fucking debunk youtube videos of people faking ghost stories and all this other shit i'd watch equals three yeah he's still making videos by the way ray william johnson oh yeah not equals three yeah not equals three but he's making like youtube shorts i know he's doing the like tiktok that. thing for a yeah, while yeah yeah same thing like short form content he's still doing music too right I don't... Your favorite Martian? I think so. I have no idea. I think so. I have no idea about that. Can you be seen? Yes. Hmm. You just can't have any impact on anything that happens right. in the future. Like, I, you can't go knock down a building. Right. You can't tell somebody, like, hey, you know, the lottery numbers are this, or this guy's going to be president. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, maybe like same kind of vibe, but like with PlayStation Two and GameCube, and like be able to just cycle through old games endlessly, yeah, forever, and just not get bored of them. There's so many PlayStation Two games. Like if I just had a treasure right. trove of all of the catalogs of all of the like circa early two thousands consoles, sure, 
going up to like maybe the 360 or something like that, I'd be set. That would be play some play some Modern Warfare on Xbox Live again. Yeah, <laughs> dude, <it was> such good. <laughs> <laughs> See, our generation reminisces about stupid shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, I think I'd want to go back to like the 30s. Like, I'd want to go back to the 1930s and actually see like how Racism. it was. Yeah. Because I we because it seems like everything you hear, like it's like every other story from that decade is complete. Like the 30s and the 40s. Yeah. Like it's either you hear, oh well, everybody was completely poor, and then they go on with their story, and then you hear, oh well, it was a roaring time it was fantastic and it's like so which one was it so i just i don't know i would want, i would want to go back and actually see what it was yeah like and then apply that to you know mm. what we know and go from there mm. okay because like i've been doing that with like old news reports lately where like something that happened in like 1950 right i can find the news report of it on youtube I watch that and then I take the knowledge of what we know and it's like, wow, that was way off. Like they had no idea what they were talking about. And it's just like an, an entire, like what four generations right. knew the false information that was put out there. So it would just be cool to kind of see like, what was it really? Right. Because we think we're so much more advanced and maybe we are because with like technology, but I think like mentally we're not, we're right there where everybody else was. I think it's a an, an easier access of information, uh, correct and incorrect information. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, which makes people more like when they have that information, uh, an abundance of it, they become more opinionated. You know, echo chambers. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you guys are thinking too much. I just want to use the dislike button again. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, want, I, I want the YouTube homepage How about the back? fact that like Netflix, Netflix got rid of thumbing down because of Amy Schumer, because her stand-up special that. was so shit that like they stopped letting us dislike things. And now you have to give one thumb, two thumbs, or three. Fuck you. Fuck you. If we don't like something. I don't have just three let us, thumbs. Right. Let us just give it the a thumbs does down. What that mean? I uh, I Love remember them. when Netflix sent DVDs. <laughs> so do I. I remember Blockbuster. We had this place by us too. It was like a local shop called York Video. That was super. I loved York. Why Video. does that sound familiar? Uh, it was a place that it was a, it was in a place that you would probably know. Was it? Yeah, York. like right up the hill from where we lived. Okay. And you would go by like where that little Caesars is. Yeah. Now. Okay. There's still a video shop on West 130th in uh, Cleveland. Oh. Yeah. I feel like if you opened a video shop now, it would work out. I have recently thought that it would be really interesting to open a DVD shop with all of the talk of DVDs like stopping production yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. Like, okay, let's just open a like how there's a the exchange or there's like um. There's another place like that where it's just like old console games and yeah. old DVDs and stuff like that. Or are you saying buy or rent? Both. Ooh, Fuck yeah. it. Both. Ooh, a rental place would be interesting. Because I'm yeah, pretty both. sure Why not? the video store on West 130th, it's like a deli slash video store. Hmm. And you can go rent videos. Because I've thought about it. I'm like, I wonder if they would have this. And I always think about it when I'm at home, not when I'm driving past it. Well, you can always rent videos from the library. I feel like people hype up the library so much, and I just don't take advantage yeah, of it. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Like, you can rent a lot of things. And, like, there's always, like, that is a forever video store. All you yeah. have to do is get a free library card. Yeah, it's free. And then you can just r literally rent videos from your local library whenever you, any movie, it, as long as they have it. And I bet you could ask the, like, the librarians if, like, hey, can you get this movie? Or yeah, what? I was going to say, know, most like, of them are, like, sourced for bigger connections. You could probably too. even do it online. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could probably just rent it online. There's a library not even a mile away from here, mm -hmm. my local library. I've been there twice. And every time, both times I've gone in there, I always have the thought of, I should really use the library more. Right. Like, there's a lot of stuff here I could use. We should do a live episode of Off Air from the library. Whoa, we could. They'd probably like that. Yeah, they don't have don't anything know. going on. I don't know if they really like that. <laughs> do they still have uh, media rooms? Could, weren't those things in libraries? Like you could yeah. go rent a room? Yeah. I remember at my college library, you could like rent a projector. And I thought that that was really cool. So like if you didn't have a TV, you could just rent a projector well, you and like stream to it. You can rent movie theaters now. 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You can. It's like 137 bucks. And you right. can just play whatever movie you want. Yeah. Right. I don't. And I don't understand how that works. Do you bring the movie, and then they play it? It was my understanding. You bring the DVD. That's probably not how it works anymore. My God, are you still talking? Preceding program is a Styles Rebel Radio dot com production.